Hey guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Hopefully I edit something so where there's not a, uh, a menu screen <laughs> that I'm looking at. Hopefully you guys can see something in the background. Anyways, so um, last episode, last part was really short. I complained because <laughs> um, a lot of the side missions got corrupted. And that is just so awesome when you see that. Just like, yes, yes, hours of video, gone. All that work, great, gone. Um, not, the, not the best thing. Anyways, um, so it's not that big of a deal. I actually can go back and replay those. All I have to do is go to progression um, and go to his uh, London stories. And then there's a bunch. There's like the C missions that I haven't, haven't actually done yet, which is Charles Dickens. And then there's the D missions, which is Charles Darwin. Char Charles Darwin? Yeah. Anyways, um, then there's the M missions, etc. Um, so I can go back and do those if I want Here's the thing, guys. Um, we're gonna do that probably eventually at the uh, around the end, if not after the story. Uh, the reason why is because the the side missions in this game, I don't really think are that great at all. They're pretty much broken down into their most basic components. It's either protect this guy, which essentially is you just fighting off a bunch of enemies, or it's go to said location. Uh, kill the enemies that are doing something bad to that guy, and that's it. That's the end of it. Which in past Assassin's Creed games, um, like Brotherhood, uh, it's the side quests were pretty different. Um, like for instance, in um, Brotherhood, there was quests where you literally had to take your assassin and like he would learn up on uh, the person that he's going to kill, and then you'd help him go through with the contract, and you kind of make sure he becomes a full-fledged assassin, and it was really nice like that. Uh, where in these this game, uh, I kind of feel like that wasn't the case. Each each mission kind of seems like it's just really cut and dry. Like, go do this, go do that, done. It's not like, you know, help your assassin do this crazy thing. Like, you know, help him figure out what this this dude does, what his his MMO is, MMO MO is, <laughs> like you know what's his schedule, etc. So yeah, I did I did think that was better in Brotherhood, but then that's why I'm not really like, oh, I have to show you guys these side missions because they're the fucking best, because <laughs> they're not to me. Um, but I will probably get around to them just because I did say um, a while back that I was going to 100% this game almost. Like I was going to show you guys everything that it has to offer. And for those of you guys who stuck with me to whatever part this ends up being, that's amazing. I think it's like part 40 or something stupid like that. I mean, on a side note, I do feel like I accomplished that because we do have every awesome weapon in the game. We do have all the best armor. We have all that shit down pat. I got all the best stuff. I could show that to you guys, etc. So I do think I've accomplished that on making my Let's Play different than other people, so I do think I did that, so go us, I guess. Um, but the other thing that's kind of shitty, though, is I did um, already make this video before, but then the audio problem was still there, because I thought I fixed it, and I was like, alright, let's go do some more Assassin's Creed. Then I found out that it was pointless, because I didn't fix the problem, and then that whole hour video also got corrupted, so just... Double check things, people. That's all I have to say is just double check things. It's been a long day. A long day of me trying to figure out my Elgato. And it's fixed. Everything is good to go. Essentially, that's all you... All, that's all I really need to say. It's just... Everything is good to go. No more bullshit. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. Um, and let's go. Now, we're gonna go be jumping right back into the story. And then again, like I said, maybe down the line, we'll be like, Oh, let's do some side quests. Even though I've already done them and they're kind of meh. Or, I may be like, Fucking, let's do some side quests that I haven't done before. Etc. Anyways... Um, so I'm doing redoing one of the missions that I did. I think it's sequence seven called Playing Politics. Um, it's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> actually, that's the mission that I actually started. Anyways, here's the intro to this mission. Jacob hunts for Prime Minister Disraeli at the club to try to find the mysterious bee who is planning on assassinating Disraeli. You may say that's not exactly what it said, but it was faster and what the hell is the Synapions Club? Exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> Having to figure out my Elgato this whole time. I, I was like, I'm ready to make some Assassin's Creed videos. And then it's just like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> just destroyed my mood. But whatever, we're still going to get it back into it. And hopefully the, the, the story can pull me back in. But I don't know, man. It's a bunch of shit. Anyways, roll the intro, the, the quest. Because I'm already, I'm already at this point. All right, B. Who are you and what's your game? My orange? Not today, I'm not. All right, so we're back. Mag. Oh God! If you guys knew what I had to. No, not the point. Let's just move on. Yes. So we're gonna go try to get, uh, warn the guy that he's gonna get assassinated, or just try to figure out who the hell B is. Uh, we've already done this. Uh, I have. I didn't get too far. I shouldn't like say like, oh God, I have to go do all of it over again because I don't. But yeah. I think one of the special things is to not um, kill the police officers. So let's not do that. You know, let's try to not be a horrible person. Can you mark them, please, Jacob? 
kind of sitting there. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna wait for that guy to fuck off. That that play is six, whatever the hell his name is. And then we're gonna we're gonna jump down. Actually, scratch that. We're gonna do something different. Kaka. Be a deer and vouch for me. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this. <laughs> we just punch the police officer in the gut. Fine. It's not not a great look, but hey, it happened. <laughs> And boom. Spy on that gentleman. Shut up, sir, please. Well, if it isn't my dear old chum, Mr. Disraeli. Now, Prime Minister, which of your friends is about to stab you in the back? This bill is a vital step in reforming our government. If the majority party is allowed to dictate the results of contested elections, we can scarcely call ourselves free. If we yield up our rights bit by bit to the courts, we can scarcely call ourselves free, sir. This is so like you, Gladstone. You would rather throw your body upon the gears of progress than surrender one iota of power? Oh, yes. By Bravo, God, this may be what a fool. Cardigan, I'll not stand idly by and watch you drag parliamentary privilege through the muck. No, certainly not. You'd rather return us to the yoke of tyranny? Perhaps while we're at it, Mr. Gladstone, we could repeal Magna Carta and return the crown to the bloody Stuarts! How dare you, sir? Merely because I do not wish to see government placed in the hands of judges, you would make these slanderous accusations? I'll not stand for it! Then I shall obviate the requirement. Good evening, sir. Not good. B, I presume. Of course, it's that guy, you know, the one guy, you know, because they, the people who are in politics deal with the bad business. Oh, pleasure to meet you. B. B. My name's Herbert. And why are you following the Prime Minister? It's just a job, sir. Some old bloke paid me to. Smug bastard. I love that so much. The look on Jacob's face is just like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, goddamn, I chased him. And you just kill him. Ah, I love Jacob a lot. Jacob is pretty great. Fuck you. <laughs> Run. Uh, is it okay? I want. Last time I played, I was very mad. <laughs> um, the first time I did this, I was so pissed because um, I think I had lost twice. Um, and I hated it because um, they give they try to give you the illusion of chasing somebody when you have no chance, regardless. Like for instance, if I got too close to her, she would just get a burst of speed and get like an extra ten feet on me. Uh, just because you're not supposed to catch her, which is stupid. Just don't put the mechanic in there. If I'm able to override it and do it quicker, then of course I should get that. Also, I cannot fight her because I will kill her too quick. Forgot to tackle her. <laughs> I have to parry her because if I do anything else, I will kill her way fast. See, that's me not, like, hitting her. <laughs> that's me parrying her attack. Come on. Come at me. See? Bloody hell! Where did you come from? Well, I was born in Crawley, but that's by the by. Who are you working for? Uh, uh, I never got his name. Uh, old chap, big moustache, wore some kind of uniform. Who's ours, maybe? What's his game? Please, you'll kill me. And a three-story drop will shatter your legs and send you to the workhouse. Difference is you can run from him. Tomorrow! Oh, my lads are going to attack the Prime Minister's carriage on the way to Parliament. Uh, uh, Perfect. Uh, yeah, though, okay, I was, oh, I did both, yay, <laughs> since, I, yeah, it's really, you could really get those secret narrity challenges really easily if you were just to go back and do them, um, and yeah, boom, cool, um, and we actually get the option, no, we don't, <laughs> if you, she, if you, if I turned around fully, you could see that she was there, like, cowering, um, I walked away, so I did not kill her, 
But I will say, so like I said, I played a little bit. I played that part. So it wasn't like, I think I said like 30 minutes worth of gameplay, an hour. It was not that much. <laughs> it was like this much, which was like maybe like 10 minutes. Um, so actually not true because I did run around a little bit and do some things, just like recapping some stuff. So I guess it's not a lie. But anyways, that, that's all the progression I made. So it was not a big deal that I had to redo it all. Press square to throw bodies. All right. So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. Okay, that guy gives off I'm a bad guy vibe. Like a lot. Like too much. Um, anyways, what the, the, the plot line is Jacob plans to warn the Prime Minister of the threat of his life and question him as of the identity of the man in the uniform named B. Yeah, alright, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how we get in there. <laughs> it's kind of like a... Uh. <coughs> ah. ah, shit. All right, sneezed like crazy. Uh, let's drop down there. <laughs> Hello? Hold. <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies. But we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> that sort. If you excuse me a moment. <laughs> that lady's only slightly <laughs> crazy. Let's go! Away! Oh, the wrong building! <laughs> Shit! I'm gonna drop assassination, but perhaps. Surprise, bitch! There we go. <laughs> Carriage, health! Sweet Jesus, kill! Drop assassinate! Drop assa- There we go! Oh, you guys are just gonna be just a slaughter. I haven't played in a while. Don't. <laughs> The combat is a bit foreign to me. I have the OP weapons to keep my skill up, which is nice. I'm, I'm happy with that. They the headshots, my friend. What a bunch of shit. Counter shot, kind of. Was it? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. See here. What's all this? Not so fast, Your Excellency. The balls? That's the rage. Got too much hate in your heart, Jacob. That's why you let him go away. Catch hey, him! Get back here with that prime minister! <laughs> Oi! <laughs> what the bloody hell, man? <laughs> That's made as Australian, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know my district slash worlds. Or fucking yeah. country. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Ha! Fuck off. Fuck off. My cart should be able to murder. The world. Why is it not doing this? Go. My god, all the destruction on the planet. Faster! Faster! We're almost there. Good. Enough. Stab his ass. Hijack. 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 Or drive. <laughs> Whoa! Everyone alright? We seem to have come through unscathed. You have our thanks, Mr. Fry. It was Gladstone. I bet my life on it. This is perfectly in keeping with Keep this moving. distinct lack of character. Show yourself, Gladstone. Show yourself, you feckless muck snipe. Ooh, I've got some venom on your I words there, buddy. I going to be in the van with a cudgel or dizzy. Okay, I was like, I don't know where to go. It's not anything, so I just imagine it's wait for the timer to run out, and it was. Damn, Gladstone! That bloody man! He will pay for this! Thank you. What do you intend to do about Gladstone, young man? I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You seem like a rough-and-ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. 
<laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, 8 o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry! Wow. That character is amazing. But one, she is down with Jacob. She see her eyes bobbing up and forth, checking him out. Secondly, she is certifiably insane. Which is always really likable in a character. For some reason, it is. <laughs> Freaking uh, Harlequin, for instance. She's bad shit insane, but for some reason, everybody kind of likes Har Harlequin for many reasons. Many, many reasons. But, not the point. The point is that we're finally caught up with everything I did in the last part. So, cool. Also, we have the access to a really fancy, yeah, golden cloak for, what's her name? For Evie, my god. Again, it's been a while since I played. Also, I got a haircut. Yeah, that's something that I didn't say, but I did. Uh, golden clape. Clape? What? Uh, that's not a golden cape. You fucking liar. <laughs> what the hell? That is some certifiable shit right there. That's not a golden cape. It's dumb. I do got this uh, clockwork cape, though, and it's it's max stealth and defense, so that's awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, outfits. Oh, they're the fucking ones you didn't even know you had. Oh, I knew I had them, game. I knew I had them. Shit. Whatever, switch back to Jacob because we're gonna be doing all Jacobs in the next video. In the next video, guys, so yeah. Just, oh, who's dying today? You are. Stealth kill the messenger. Was that stealth kill enough for you? Was that stealth kill enough for you? Ah, ah, this is brutal. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Frost, and that is gonna go and end it. Um, uh, I don't know. Hopefully, nothing got corrupted or fucked up because. Been happening a lot <laughs> with the series. It's like no one wants me to finish it. Some some ungodly force is like, hey, I don't think so. The series has to die. It's like, why? I put so much time into it. Please don't say that. Um, but nevertheless, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Frost. <laughs> Looks like looking over here for some reason. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye, guys.